Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the progress of my in-move humanoid robot hand 3D printed on my Solid Oodle printer. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Eric. I'm a chronic hobbyist and truly excited to be part of the maker movement. Uh, welcome to the channel and uh, enjoy. Well, what we have here is a box of goodies from my uh, upstairs office. These are the 3D printed items for my InMove robot hand. Uh, these are printed on my Solid Doodle 2. Uh, pretty happy with the results. Um, truly happy with the results, actually. These are printed at 0.3 millimeter layer height. And uh, uh, big thank you, uh, big shout out to Gail or Gael uh, for providing the open source uh, information on the InMove robot that allows the entire world to print a full size humanized, humanoid robot uh, driven by Arduino or any other microcontroller of their choice. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Uh, a couple of tips before I uh, go too deep into it. Um, if you're going to print one of these and going to make yourself a robot, Go to the InMove forum, which is the Google group, and um, check on uh, what the current best model is. There's tons of variations of these out there. And uh, what I did, I actually printed the most popular one. This is no longer the best design. So uh, easy fix. Basically what we do is we remove the, uh, the supports and uh, make some new servo mounts. I'll cut away for a quick second here and I'll show you what the InMove robot actually looks like. So that was the InMove hand. That is the contents of this box. So we'll start off, just start pulling stuff out. Uh, unfortunately I had some problems with the solid oodle. You can see here, I had what's called as a layer shift. Uh, I actually had it twice, two different parts. The first time was driven by my belts, uh, one belt not being tight. This one, I have a suspicion it was due to a brief power blip. There was an ice storm at the time, and uh, unfortunately, it took a little shift. This part is still usable. Uh, I did break it at the top here. Really good layer adhesion other than right there. Really happy with these parts. So what you end up with, those are the upper part of the arm. Here's the wrist. Uh, really happy with that. Turned out great. These are the the mounts for the covers for this area of the arm. This is the, one of the others that I had the layer shift problem. Um, actually, not this one. This one is what happens when you don't clear and rerun slicer before you hit print again. You get the same component again. Uh, one of the hazards of printing at one o'clock in the morning kind of screwed that up. So uh, that's basically it. Here's the back of the hand. I'll lay out a couple of pieces on the bench and you can see how this is going to go. What I've done is I've put all the components in envelopes. Um, this is actually a reprint of the parts. My first prints uh, had some problems with the printer. I had a, a partial clog. So when I printed all, all four fingers and a thumb, they turned out like crap. So I simply reprinted them all. These take about, on the solid oodle, at fairly good, fairly low speeds at 0.3 millimeter, you're looking at about an hour per finger ish. And uh, parts like these, this is a six and a half hour print. Uh, I could definitely go a lot faster. I'm going to work on my, uh, my settings and uh, see if I can up those, but no worries for the robot, it's done. So I haven't even trimmed any of these parts, but this gives you an idea of what the arm to the wrist, wrist uh, so this is elbow to wrist, looks like, just, just sitting on the bench. Um, pretty substantial, this thing matches one to one with my, uh, with my arm, it's a lot of big parts. So uh, let's lay out a couple pieces of the hand and you can see what that's going to look like. So this is just a few of the pieces of the hand laid out on the bench. They're not connected and probably not even in the right sequence, but you'll get the idea. Um, that's the thumb and one of the fingers and 
basically the major portions of the hands. These are all driven by um, high test nylon, uh, like Spectra fishing line, driven by the servos, which will reside in the arm. Um, five simple servos and a simple Arduino, and you have a fully articulating hand. Just incredible what's been done. So I'm pretty excited. Um, all the parts are printed, now it's just time to do some finishing on the pieces and uh, assemble them. We got to, uh, the Solid Doodle did a really good job, but I have to take some sandpaper to these and I may vapor bath these in acetone to make them that much stronger. Uh, although the layer adhesion is really good to get a lot of force on these, uh, I may just want to uh, give them a bit of a bath in the acetone vapors and really bond those outer layers. Anyway. Uh, that's my InMove robot. Stay tuned for uh, the assembly of this and uh, I've got some really exciting ideas on the horizon for interfacing this. I have a, I have a component, uh, believe it or not, a game ordered that I'm going to use as part of the interface for this and a few other projects. It should be here in about two days and uh, I'm going to start a new series on, on specifically that. And, uh, for any of you who find it interesting, stay tuned. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, please post in the comment section things you'd like to see, things you like, things you don't. Uh, very much appreciated. Thanks again.